Okay. Top of the morning to you, laddies. Copyright infringement. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna build a PC. Trey's first PC. <laughs> Trey, how you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, other than I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. That's okay. Neither do I, for most things. But I have lots of experience building computers. You'll see a bunch of cards popping up above my head of all the terrible experiences I've had with building computers, and you'll wonder to yourself, why the hell is this guy still building computers? I don't know. But first, Trey, it's not bright enough in here. Sorry, your boomer eyes can't see anything. My boomer eyes are not the problem, it's your boomer lights. Is this better? I'm blind. It's yeah. brighter, yes. Hello, I'm a videographer. I am building my cousin Trey his first computer. Yeah, I'm pretty actually stoked. I am very stoked as well. His old computer. <laughs> this is his old computer, which was my first computer that I built. It's had quite a few modifications along the way. I was like, it kind of doesn't look too good. I kind of gave up on cable management back in my Road to Horizon series when I built my new computer and everything went to hell and I ended up having to use this for Oh, hey, a spider came out of it. Oh yeah, literally a spider came out. It, it served me well and it served Trey well for all two times he probably booted it up. Yep, that's exactly how many times. But our plan is to get him something a little bit beefier. I got a new graphics card. My RX 580 had some issues of its own and, and Asus was nice enough to just replace it. His budget was $700 and that's not including the graphics card. And, and we, uh, we used all of it. We have not unboxed the case, the case yet. It is the, uh, the Mucinex, oh, sorry. <laughs> the Mucitex uh, 903. So I'll, I'll hold the box, you go ahead and get it pulled out. Unlike your dad. <laughs> it took me a second to even realize what you said. That wasn't a pain. Not at all. A few things to note for this, I think it was, was it what, 70? 70, 70 bucks? It was 120. So it actually was a bit more expensive than I remember. Not getting a nice case is something I kind of I kind of regret. Um, it has these magnetic dust shields, so that's really nice, especially being in a basement and in Colorado, and with a billion freaking fires everywhere. Uh, it does have a tempered glass, and uh, on the front and the sides, it has LED fans, so that's really fancy. Gift. Ooh, okay. Ooh. So if you post a video on YouTube, Facebook, you can contact us to get one of the following products as a gift. Okay, so I guess I should apologize for saying Mucinex instead of Mucinex. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a beautiful case. What is the building block of all life? The answer is carbon. But the funny answer is motherboards because this- I was like, <laughs> I was like, if you're trying to do something with motherboards, I don't know what you're going at. Gigabyte, I've actually kind of grown fond of them. But this guy was a, a pretty sweet 150 bucks, I think 160 or something like that. Something like that. And um, it has, you know, the PCI 4.0, it's X570, and it has a PCI 4.0 slot for M.2, which we also got for storage. So I will let you unbox this, my good sir. Here you go. Look at that smexy beast. Mm -hmm. When you're handling the motherboard, you don't want to touch all of the little tiny. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, uh, circuits and and soldering points and stuff like that. You want to just try to hold it by the edges. This isn't really a video about how to build a computer or the best ways to build a computer because there's a million ways to build a computer and. I just wanted to make a vlog about uh, building Trey's first computer because he's gonna, we're gonna do a lot of gaming together and uh, make more content for this channel. And him having his own computer for gaming and video editing is going to be very handy indeed. And we're back with another camera, motherboard. So we have the CPU socket where we, where that connects. We have our RAM slots where the, the RAM rams in. So it's actually showing you that you want to put your RAM into this slot and this slot. 
Um, and then the other important slot here is your 16X PCI 4.0 slot. It does have some uh, additional reinforced mint, which is gonna be good for a massive card like, uh, like Big Hoth here. So, but let's install your processor. While Trey gets a knife to cut open his processor box, I'm going to get some refreshments. Which reminds me, this video is sponsored, sponsored by, by no one. one. So that was actually really nice. That was so nice. <laughs> so if you want to sponsor us, uh, reach out because uh, we could use a sponsor. We Musinex. Have it. Yeah, Musinex. Actually, I'm counting on you. Musinex or, or, or Musitex uh, if you want to sponsor us. Something I'm very guilty of when it comes to building computers is, is the static discharge. Like the professionals will say that you should have one of those little static wristbands connected to something to ground you at all times. But mainly if you just touch something metal, like a, like a pipe or a, or a large metal object in between touching electronic devices, you should be good. So now that I touch something, uh, you go over there and, and touch the pipe. So first of all, you have the processor. That's, that's, that's cardboard. There's your processor. All these tiny little pins connect to that same spot in the motherboard. Each one has a, a different task. Some of them don't do anything, but most of them are very important. So you do not want to bend these little pins. And now pick it up by the sides. Don't touch the bottom. Now you'll look and there should be a little golden corner. And it's gonna line up with the triangle on the motherboard. So we pull this up and this is going to shift the, uh, the pinhole doohickeys into place. And then you wanna set it straight down on top of that very gently. Make sure that it is seated in those little slots. Bend that down and click it over its little holder. So now we're at an impasse where a lot of people will recommend different things. Um, but for me, I like to get the RAM and the processor installed before putting it into the case. And because the the air cooler um, that we have on this, which is AMD's own Wraith cooler, this has a thermal pad or pre-applied thermal paste. Um, when installing a, a new uh, air cooler or water cooler, you usually have thermal paste in, in a little in a little tube that you'll put on. But this is is going to conduct heat a lot better than straight metal on metal. And this is going to plug into the motherboard that will monitor the temperature and control the speed of this fan. Um, but for now, let's just set this back. It's sometimes hard to install the RAM around an air cooler. Not as much worried about this one, but let's install the RAM next. So go ahead and grab your Corsair DDR4. So my wife is his blood cousin. So he's my cousin-in-law. He's basically just my brother at this point. I don't care. Um, uh, their, their great grandmother's house. Uh, I, I live really close by and have to do to be the IT guy. I actually got a call that she needs her internet hooked back up. This, this is this is the key that Shay made for her house for me, which is perfect. So I'll, I'll place the first one to show you and I'll, I'll put it further away from the camera. So um, you have both of these out and you just set it straight down into its little slot and then the put pressing these in will actually and down at the same time. Uh, it'll lock it. In. it. Takes a bit of force. Don't have to worry too much about hurting. Like I don't want to hurt. Yeah. It. Next, um, because it also will be kind of hard to install um, underneath the air cooler. Let's install your NVMe SSD. Getting one of these in your uh, in in your computer is as as a, a primary boot drive is is really great. Hi. Let's throw it down here. It's I fun. just cleaned. We appreciate you. See, Michael is nice. And because this is an 80 length, not a 110 length, we're just bringing the riser up one notch. This will be useful for teaching you how to install laptop RAM because it's very similar. Um, it goes in at a slight angle and then you press it down. There you, there you go, 512 gigs of super fast storage with its own little heat spreader. For this, again, you just, you don't want to touch the, the thermal thermal pad there because that's all we have. And then we'll go in a, a crisscross manner of evenly tightening it, tightening it. But you want to make sure that you're tightening it evenly so you're not put, you're putting too much pressure on any point of the processor. Because it has these springs, it does give us a little bit of leeway, so it's a, it's a while before we can officially over tighten it. Good news, everyone! We have the processor, the RAM, and... So now comes the second most obnoxious part, which is putting it into the 
case. Um, we will cut here and rearrange cameras and we'll be back to you in a second. So it's been like an hour. We installed yeah. the power supply and did all the preliminary cable management off camera. And now we are ready to install the motherboard into the chassis. Uh, Musitex, you guys included a spare LED power light and two spare tactile switches. I've never seen that before. Thank you. My my power switch broke in my tower and I didn't have a spare. So, um, but it turned out great because I have a kid who just presses it all day long. start streaming so keep an eye on that um but anyways have a great day night life and stay safe